Yom HaShoah is an Israeli holiday that has become something that is observed throughout the Jewish world. Back in January, uh, we commemorated International Holocaust Remembrance Day, which is actually fairly new on the international scene in terms of Holocaust remembrance. Yom HaShoah goes back decades already, uh, almost to the founding of Israel in 1948. We lost six million. That's the number we talk about. That does not in any way negate the others who were tortured, tormented, murdered by the Nazis. For us, there was something qualitatively different about the Jewish experience. And like, if you were at all like me, the number six million is just too big a number to fathom. What does six million really represent? I always think of it in these terms. Six million was one third of all the Jewish people in the world in 1939. Six years later, we had lost one third of our international Jewish family. I often ask people to think about their last large family gathering, something we haven't done much of over the past year. But think about that gathering and imagine one third of the people there taken away to be tortured and executed, never to be seen from, seen or heard from again. That's what this experience was for us. In some cases, we know the names. In some cases, we don't. If you've ever been to the Holocaust Museum in Washington, DC, you know that one of the centerpieces of it is a four story open space right in the middle of the museum. And there are photographs all around. Those photographs are people who were murdered. They all came from the same town. Now people often ask me, can I identify the single saddest moment during the Holocaust? And I will often say, yes, it happened in 1946. And people look at me and they say, but the Holocaust was over in 45 when the war ended. There was a town in Eastern Europe. A number of Jewish Holocaust survivors went back to this town. It was their hometown. They thought they would go back to their homes. Except when they got there, they found their homes occupied, their businesses had been taken over, and the small band of Jews was murdered in 1946. And I've always been asking the question, what have we really learned? When I think about what it is that I would like the world to know, and especially for the Gentile world to know, it's one thing when I bear witness. It's something else entirely when someone else does. Elie Wiesel, arguably the most famous Holocaust survivor ever, Nobel Prize winner, writer, novelist, teacher. He once said, when you hear a witness, you become a witness. It is very likely that in our lifetimes, the last of the Holocaust survivors will die. And the last of the concentration camp liberators, the allied soldiers will die. Holocaust denial has been going on since the 1970s when the numbers of survivors and liberators were far greater. It's only accelerated with time. Who's going to keep the memory alive? Who's going to allow us all to hear the refrain, never again? Not just never again for my people, but never again for any people. 
And we all know that whether it was in Rwanda or Bosnia or Cambodia, we know of too many genocides that have happened since. The lesson for all of us, we can't be silent. It can't just be about my story and my people. Let this day represent a global outcry for justice.